Hey yo, what's up everybody? Holmes here and welcome to my Dark Souls 3 The Ring City DLC weapon location guide. Today I'm going to show you guys how to obtain this cool abyss looking katana which is called the Frayed Blade and uh, yeah this thing is very very nice looking and it's, uh, it's a dex weapon so yeah anyways uh, right off the bat where I was just at, the bonfire started. It's the second bonfire from the Ring City, okay? Uh, so after you beat the first boss in the, the drag heap area, you, you're gonna go through a cutscene, you're gonna arrive in bonfire, and then after that, just progress a little bit. It's a straight shot, because you can't miss it. It's a straight shot. And eventually you'll run into the second bonfire in no time. And once you re reach the second bonfire, just follow this, just follow this path right here. And we're just gonna skip all the enemies. We're just gonna run straight to uh, to get, well, to kill the boss to get the look uh, katana. You're gonna have to kill a boss with this katana. And the boss fight's actually pretty easy. It's just that the boss has a lot of health. Uh, the attack patterns are pretty easy to avoid. And yeah, it, it's a it's a dragon boss. Uh, I already have. Um, a boss guy for that up already so if you guys are having trouble against the dark eater Madir, that's how you say his name I, I know I pronounced it wrong in the guide but it's called Madir. I called him Mitter I didn't know where it was called so yeah you, you kick his ass and then he'll drop his soul and then you can um get the sword but the way to get to the boss I'm gonna show you guys that right here and because this is like a thing you have to go through. Um, you have to beat him in the bridge, you beat him up in the bridge, and then, then you can actually fight him. And he's kind of hidden away, so this is what I'm going to show you guys. The location for that. So once you get to this bridge, if this is your first time, get, when, you, when you get to this bridge, you want to watch out because the boss is going to start breathing fire here. Um, you can try dodging the fire behind the rocks. If you get hit, it's not going to one-shot you. It doesn't hit that hard. Surprisingly, it doesn't hit that freaking hard. So yeah, it starts breathing fire here, so you, get, you can't kill him here. So you wanna want to run over here as quick as possible, okay? And once you get to this little catacomb looking area, you wanna come over here to the right side and then you wanna drop down here where you see a little red, uh, red rug or whatever, flag, rope, cape, not rope, cape probably, I don't know. Once you get there and drop down, just follow this path over here and this is the first room. Second room. The second room is where you want to go. So this is the second room right there. So we're gonna go in here. There's some enemies here. There's skeletons. You can fight them if you want to. You don't have to. You could just run by them, like um, like what I'm doing right now. I ain't gonna mess with them. They're not tough, but I just <laughs> I'm gonna show you guys the location. I don't want to be fighting unnecessary enemies in the middle of it. Once you get to this part right here and you see that bonfire, I highly recommend you light, light that bonfire if this is your first time through, okay? Because the, the dragon's gonna pop up here again, it's gonna start breathing fire at you. Um, and if you wanna get this sword, you're gonna have to knock him off this freaking bridge. So you can take cover here when he starts breathing fire, and after you're done doing that, come over here, whack his hand, and just rinse and repeat, dodge his fire, whack his hand. He does have melee attack, but if he starts meleeing, you can just run back to the, the behind the rock as well. Uh, I'll probably upload. A guy for that if a lot of people are having trouble fighting him on the bridge. Uh, I don't think you guys are going to have trouble kicking his ass on the bridge. But anyways, yeah. Um, you're going to have to whoop his ass on the bridge, okay? So after you whoop his ass on the bridge, he'll fall. And that'll be the end of that. He won't come back on the bridge again. So once that happens, okay, after you drop him from the bridge. Uh, you come over here. There is this elevator right here that you can take up. And there's a secret passage on the side. I just missed it. My dumbass just missed it. It's on the side, on the right side right here. So you want to pay attention right here. See, and once you reach this part, hang a left. You're gonna see these these knights here, and this one, this little door area. This knight does not have a sword. Just whack it, and the door, the illusionary wall will disappear, and the path will appear. So once you get here, just slide down this ladder. It's safe. There's no enemies here. Just mm, well, there's no enemies here. Period. But we will be fighting the boss right over here. Okay, you see this little crack in the wall. Once you drop down here, uh, prepare yourself for a boss fight. Like I said, the boss is not really tough. It's just he has a lot of freaking health. And he hits pretty damn hard, but its attacks are really easy to avoid. So after you whoop his ass, right, the Dark Eater Mitter, Madir, I keep calling him Mitter. 
after you whoop his ass, just go back to Fire Link. And like I said before, if you guys are having trouble with this guy, I do have a guy up for it on, on my channel. So, you know, use that. Hopefully it'll help. Uh, once you get to, once you whoop his ass, you come back to Fire Link. You have his soul already. And you just come to this guy who trades souls for weapons with a little bit side soul or something as cash. So you come over here and you'll see this katana right here. The frayed blade. This is so freaking cool looking. The move sets for this is very awesome as well. So check it out. <laughs> I really like the design. This is like other than the Oni Kiri and Ubadachi, this is probably my second favorite like uh, weapon from this game. Or actually from all the Souls games. This is really nice. It's so badass looking, it's like it got consumed by the abyss or something. And like I said, Dex weapon right here, once you get it to plus five, it has an A scaling with it too. It's really nice. This is the normal well, when you hold L2 and you use the normal attack, it sends out the shockwave. Very, very awesome. Alright. And this is the L this is R2 move right there. The other one was R1, normal attack. This is the heavy attack, R2. And you just do this multiple slash. Reminds me of Virgil from, from Devil May Cry. And I want to also mention when you do a normal attack with this weapon, it also has dark damage. So that's a bonus. But yeah, that's pretty much going to wrap it up for this uh, weapon location guy. So I thank you all for watching. And um, hopefully you guys will join me in the next video. So yeah, until then, peace.